The bomb threats began at St. James High School at the end of November with writing on a bathroom wall that led to several more threats and evacuations. And now this week, two threats in two days at Myrtle Beach High School. Students were evacuated to a neighboring school's gym and an 11-year-old at Blackwater Middle faces charges for saying there was a bomb on a bus. It's very alarming. It's disturbing um, to know that these threats are continuing to happen at such a rapid rate. Just having to drop everything, leave the building, it's just uh, very disconcerting. Teachers have to do extra work because they have to account for every student as they evacuate. So yes, it's frustrating. With each threat comes the loss of instructional time and a criminal investigation. Dr. Ellsbury says that's where parent involvement can help school officials. I would hope that they would pull those pictures out of those students that were arrested and, and say this is what can happen. This is not a game. You can't play around. You can't say things that you don't really mean. Sheila Singletary is already having those discussions with her daughter. And she's concerned as well as I and we both concur that the first thing to do is to sh if that information should become available to her that she should share it with her teachers and the authorities at the school.